Welcome! This video features a look at Christian Peterson's career and his works of art from 1932 to 1961. For more information on Christian Peterson's early career, see our two videos, Christian Peterson Early Career, on the University Museum's YouTube channel. My name is Allison Sheridan, and I'm the Collections Manager with University Museums. As we work towards building the legacy and further documenting the body of work by Peterson in the permanent collection, University Museum staff, including myself, is also working on the Christian Peterson Catalogue Raisonné Project, a publication of all known works of art by Peterson, spanning his whole career, from his start on the East Coast to his success found in Iowa. Many Iowa staters are familiar with Peterson's iconic sculptures, like the Fountain of the Four Seasons on campus, but few realize that his time in Iowa came mid-career. Take a few minutes with me to discover Peterson's life in Iowa and artwork from 1932 to his death in 1961. 1932 began with Franklin Delano Roosevelt being elected president of the United States. His promise of a new deal for Americans suffering from the effects of depression were widely founded. Peterson first sculpts his in-laws, William and Ella Garvey, for Salt of the Earth, a portrait of the pair. In 1933, George Biddle writes to President Roosevelt in May with a suggestion for putting artists to work as part of the New Deal program. This program would be called the Public Works of Art Project and would run from December 8, 1933 to April 28, 1934. Peterson would spend the summer completing portrait commissions in Des Moines, such as the series for Equitable of Iowa's past presidents, Governor Clyde Herring, Colonel W. F. Godson, George Jewett, and the Mannheimer Sons. His first known Midwestern solo exhibition, Sculptures by Christian Peterson, opened in the Yonkers Tea Room Gallery in Des Moines July 17th and closed September 1st of 1933. Also in 1933, Christian Peterson created the sculpted Abraham Lincoln seated figure. This was done as a model for a competition in Milwaukee among 48 artists from across the United States. This sculpture would end up receiving honorable mention in the contest. Peterson received his first portrait bust commission for Iowa State College in 1933 of Lewis Pamel, a pioneer scientist in botany and bacteriology. Then President Raymond Hughes and Peterson began discussions for campus sculptures, especially for the new Dairy Industry Building, which opened in 1928. Patrons and friends such as Hughes and Harlan, who was the State Memorial and Historical Curator, recommended Peterson to grant wood for the Public Works of Art project in Iowa beginning December 8, 1933. January 18, 1934, Christian Peterson was invited by and then hired by Grant Wood for the Public Works of Art project. The Petersons would move from Illinois to Iowa, first located in Iowa City. Peterson's assignment was a sculpted mural for what was then the Dairy Industry Building, a project commissioned by President Raymond Hughes of Iowa State College. The Federal Works of Art project officially ends on April 28th in the midst of Peterson creating his big mural cycle. In August, the PWAP artist steal the show, sweeping the awards for top prizes at the Iowa State Fair exhibition. Christian Peterson also presents a special exhibition of his portrait bust of Grant Wood, because there was no sculpture category at the State Fair. In October of 1934, the Petersons moved permanently to Ames, where Hughes hired Peterson as a sculptor in residence at Iowa State College. His duties included creating sculptures for campus and teaching classes in sculpture to the all-female applied art program in the Home Economics Division. Peterson reported to Paul E. Cox, head of the Ceramic Engineering Division, who had been assigned to help him build a kiln to fire the panels for the dairying mural. From 1935 to 1936, Peterson would collaborate with Edgar Harlan, State Memorial and Historical Art Department curator, Bessie Kuhn, and Hala Rhodes on Chakashi, a children's school book illustrated by Peterson about the Meskwaki Nation. Chakashi is then published by Scribner's in 1936. In April of 1935, Peterson installed the first of many public sculptures at Iowa State College, the seven-panel relief mural, The History of Dairying. 
At least 100 firing periods of 60 hours each took place from September 1934 through April 1935, before Peterson's first large-scale project for Iowa State College, the fountain sculpture and reflecting pool, were installed. Peterson and the Dairy Club present an open house for his relief sculptures at the Dairy Industry Building on May 10th as a feature of Visha, an annual spring campus celebration. Peterson and the Dean of Veterinary Medicine, Charles Stang, begin planning for the Veterinary Medicine Mural Project in 1935. And Peterson officially embarked on his career as a campus sculptor, an Iowa State sculptor, maintaining that position until his retirement until 1955. Christian and Charlotte Peterson's daughter would be born on November 24, 1936. Then President Raymond Hughes resigns as president of Iowa State College to be succeeded by Charles Friley. Shortly thereafter, three athletes is installed at State Gym, the men's gymnasium on campus. Peterson also begins the long process of firing, correcting, and trimming 44 terracotta panels for the veterinary medicine mural, not actually completed until 1938. In 1936, Peterson designs and creates the Eli Lilly and Company Research Award. He also creates reclining nudes from the women's dorm, Roberts Hall. In 1937, Peterson is named assistant professor at Iowa State College. At the Iowa State Fair that year, Peterson models and creates portrait busts of prominent Iowa citizens. Also in 1937, Peterson creates the Gentle Doctor sculpture to be added to the veterinary medicine mural in what is now Lago Marcino Hall, but was then the veterinary quadrangle. In 1938, the Petersons as a family traveled to Kentucky, where Christian created numerous sketches and upon return creates studio sculptures such as Flood, Drought, Laura and Wallace, and Soon After the Flood. In 1939, during the spring semester, male students are first allowed into Peterson's expanding sculpture classes at Iowa State. From 1939 to 1941, Peterson begins exploring a series of sculptures on the theme of World War II, including Old Woman in Prayer, or the Refugee, and War, or After the Blitz War. In 1941, Peterson creates his iconic plaster sculptures, the 4-H Calf and Corn Husker. Also in 1941, Peterson creates the iconic Fountain of the Four Seasons, which is unveiled in the spring at the Iowa State Memorial Union during a Visha celebration. In 1942, Peterson's marriage ring is installed in front of the Home Economics Building, and Iowa State College recognizes Peterson with a dinner in his honor and his first retrospective exhibition at the Memorial Union, with host George Nerney invited to address the, din the dinner guests. In 1944, Peterson creates his library boy and girl. They are installed at the Iowa State College Library on either side of the stairwell leading from Grant Wood's mural, Breaking the Prairie Sod, up to the other mural cycle, Other Arts Follow, again designed by Grant Wood. In 1944, Peterson creates The Price of Victory, which is then installed in Gold Star Hall. He is also named Associate Professor at Iowa State College that year. In May of 1945, war in Europe ends, and in August, atomic bombings of Japan are followed by the Japanese surrender, ending the war in the Pacific. Peterson began a long series of drawings for proposed war memorials. In the late 1940s to early 1950s, Peterson continues producing campus sculpture, along with teaching and carrying out numerous private commissions, including religious sculptures. In 1946, he creates Madonna of the Schools for the local St. Cecilia Catholic Church in Ames. Peterson would go on to sculpt the large mural cycle Conversations, or Oak Elm Group, from 1947 to 1952. In 1949, Peterson converts to Catholicism at the age of 64. Also in 1949, he sculpts George Washington Carver, one of the iconic alumni of Iowa State. His figure of Carver stands prominently holding a peanut plant. The roots of that peanut plant trickle down into the veins of Carver himself. By 1950, Peterson is commissioned to sculpt the monumental sculpture St. Bernard of Clairvaux for Dubuque. That sculpture is now located in Burita, Iowa. 
He is also commissioned to sculpt St. Francis Xavier for Dyersville. In December of 1952, for his final art competition, Peterson enters a juried exhibition, the work of art Unknown Political Prisoner at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, with his plaster maquette sculpture Unknown Prisoner. His entry was not juried into the following exhibition at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City or the Tate in London. In 1951, Peterson sculpts his final bas-relief mural, agronomy mural, for the Iowa State University campus. In 1953, his daughter Mary Peterson enters Mount Carmel Convent in Dubuque, Iowa, where she remained for 10 years. By 1955, Peterson has completed his major installation, Conversations, before retiring from Iowa State at age 70. From 1955 to 1957, Peterson is employed by J.W. Bill Fisher of Marshalltown, where he taught sculpture classes at the Central Iowa Arts Association. In 1959, he began the design for Dedication to the Future and suffers a heart attack later that year. In 1961, at the age of 76, Peterson dies of cancer on April 4th in Ames, four days after inspecting and signing the last casting mold for his sculpture, Dedication to the Future, located at the Fisher Community Center in downtown Marshalltown, Iowa. Iowa State University, under pressure from students, installs Conversations that was completed in 1958, but not installed until the early 1960s. By 1964, 80 of the remaining works of art in Peterson's campus studio were offered for sale to the public on behalf of Charlotte Peterson, his wife, by close friends. This concludes the later career of Christian Peterson. Please explore the other videos offered by University Museums on our website, www.museums.iastate.edu, or on our YouTube channel. Thank you.